Medical Health Services Recruitment Board Part 4 TG MHSRB Most Important MCQs Easy to Prepare This is common for lab technicians and pharmacists. So, you can also prepare this. So, welcome to my channel. Stay safe, stay healthy. Share with your friends. Answers are correct. You can comment in the comment box. First three parts of my channel. You can choose that answer. So, stay safe, stay healthy. Come to the questions. In an infant, head control is achieved by A. 5 to 6 months B. 3 to 4 months C. 6 to 7 months D. 8 to 12 months Think naturally. Yes, it is B. 3 to 4 months By age 3 months, your baby can control his or her head movements. Put your baby on his or her tummy during awake periods and closely supervise. A child is able to walk by A. 12 to 18 months B. 3 years C. 5 years D. 4 years I think you will be right. Yes, it is answer B. 3 years Children at this age are walking, running, kicking and throwing. They are exploring their world and picking up new skills like kicking a ball or riding a cycle. Spoon shaped nails are seen in A. Iron deficiency anemia, B. Megaloblastic anemia, C. Sickle cell anemia, D. Pernicious anemia. Did you guess spoon shaped nails? Yes, the answer is A. Iron deficiency anemia. Spoon shape abnormality is observed in severe chronic iron deficiency anemia. Knock knees are characteristic features of A. Rickets, B. Scurvy, C. Bleeding, D. Sterility. Did you guess the answer? Comment in the comment box. Yes, the answer is A. Rickets. Softening and weakening of bones in children usually due to inadequate vitamin D. Lack of vitamin D results in reduced absorption of calcium and phosphorus. Edema means A. Swelling B. Inflammation C. Tenderness D. None Many of you can answer this question correctly because you have seen in daily cases and yes, the answer is A. Swelling Edema means swelling It arises when part of the body becomes swollen because fluid gathers in the tissue What is the half-life of IgA? A. 1 to 6 days B. 6 to 8 days C. 8 to 10 days D. 3 to 6 days It might be tough. The answer is B. 6 to 8 days IgA means Immunoglobulin A or Independent Grosses Alliance IgA is second most prevalent antibody in serum which is the major immunoglobulin serum? A. IgA B. IgG C. IgM D. IgE Yes? Are you thinking? Did you got the answer? Yes? It is option B. IgG IgG is the most abundant immunoglobulin in the serum accounting for about 75% of all immunoglobulins. It is primary antibody that protects against bacterial and viral infections. The total number of cases existing at a given period of time in a given population A. Prevalence rate B. Incidence rate C. Morbidity rate D. Mortality rate Did you guess the answer? Got it? It is answer A. Prevalence rate The number of new cases of a disease that develop in a specific time period is called prevalence. Prevalence is often used in questionnaire studies. Defection means A. The body defense begins B. The period with signs and symptoms C. Client covers from illness D. Recovery is established Did you got the answer? Guess Yes, it is C. Client covers from illness 
that is recovering we can say sometimes the patient may be in a chronic situation recovering from illness the presence of infection in the host may be how many phases like a2 b3 c4 d1 got the answer yes the answer is c4 the stages of infection are incubation prodromal illness stage of decline and the last one is there convalescence but it is not included in infection stage what are the specific activities of primary prevention a health education health promotion b health promotion specific protection c health promotion treatment d promotion rehabilitation got the answer yes it is b health promotion specific protection primary prevention refers to actions aimed at avoiding the manifestation of a disease that is prevention is better than cure example of vector borne transmission a malaria b hepatitis a c syphilis d rubella i think by this time you got the answer yes yes the answer is a malaria an infection caused by a plasmodium parasite transmitted by the bite of infected mosquitoes Malaria mostly spreads to people through the bites of some infected female anopheles mosquitoes. Disinfection means a destruction of infectious agents, b removal of microorganism, c removal of microbes, d removal of transient bacteria. Disinfection. Yes, the answer is a destruction of infectious agents. Disinfection describes a process that eliminates many or all pathogenic microorganisms. The most effective method of sterilization is a steam under pressure, b boiling, c burning, d none. Yes, it is easy one. Yes, the answer is option A, steam under pressure. A method of sterilization that uses moist heat under pressure it is the most common and reliable sterilization method because it's non toxic hospital waste materials are disposed of by a burning b disinfector c autoclave d a and b i will give a clue in the hospitals needles can be done in which way yes it is a burning some hospital waste is disposed of by burning in a process called medical waste incineration incineration is a controlled process that burns medical waste at high temperatures live vaccines are a bcg oral polio b rabies c tetanus d plague did you think of it live vaccines yes the answer is option a bcg oral polio the bacilli calmatic urine vaccine protects against meningitis and the oral polio vaccine is a weakened live vaccine that prevents polio formites are a non living things b living things c insects d animals this is a simple question which is asked in biology guess it yes it is option a non living things a formite is an inanimate object that can transfer disease to a new host if it is contaminated with or exposed to infectious agents fastigium things a showing signs and symptoms b disease condition at its height c a and b d none most of you might have not known this answer but you can guess yes it is b disease condition at its height fastigium means in a medical term the period when a disease or fever is most severe or highest point of an infection's development complete absence of a condition is termed as a monitoring b eradication c elimination d control 
understand the question complete absence got the point yes the answer is b eradication eradication means complete spoiling of one thing so example smallpox Small smallpox is a contagious disease after the vaccine they have completely eradicated natural passive immunity is produced by a mild subclinical infection b anti sera administration c maternal antibodies d all think the answer natural immunity yes the answer is c maternal antibodies maternal antibodies are a natural form of immunity that protect newborns from infection and disease during the first months of life the polio virus can remain viable in water in cold environment for a 1 year b 1 month c 4 weeks d 4 months the answer is tell b 1 month in the book they have given c and d same options but the answer is b polio virus can survive at room temperature for a few weeks and can remain viable in water for a long time why is immunization important in child care program a to promote child survival b to reduce infant and child mortality c to fully immunize all beneficiary against several vaccine preventable diseases d all of the above the answer is d all of the above immunization can protect the child reduce child mortality it will give full immune protection to the children through vaccines you can prevent some diseases How do you identify diphtheria? A blood in the sputum, grayish or yellowish membrane over the tonsils, C vomiting along with cough, D mild fever. Guess the answer. You will easily say it. It is B grayish or yellowish membrane over the tonsils. It is a symptom of diphtheria. The membrane is called a pseudo membrane and is made up of dead tissue that builds up in the nose and throat. How does tetanus spread? A by inhaling contaminated air. B because of soiled clothes and utensils of patients. C through cuts contaminated by dust and excreta. D contaminated food and water. Guess the answer. It is C through cuts contaminated by dust and excreta. Tetanus is caused by the bacterium Clostridium tetani, which is found in soil, dust, and animal and human feces. What is the objective of Janani program? A to reduce IMR, B 100% coverage of all beneficiary for immunization, C to reduce child mortality due to VBD, D none of the above. Answer is B 100% coverage of all beneficiaries for immunization. The Janani Suraksha Yojana is a government sponsored program in India that aims to reduce maternal and infant mortality. Stay safe stay healthy don't forget to subscribe stay tuned for more part 5 will be uploaded soon thank you